So you have a jailbroken iPod Touch or an iPhone and you want to modify it somehow? Well, SSHing is the right way to go. With SSH, you can like put custom themes that you made yourself that are not available on City at Origin. Like edit system strings like slide edit slide to unlock or something. Just modify it. Today I'm gonna show you how to set up SSH for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Okay, so now the first thing you wanna do is you wanna open up your internet browser and uh, you wanna go to winfp.net. I'll provide the link in the description. Um, yeah. Go download the latest version. Um, just click download. And it'll be an installation package. Just install it. Quick, easy. And now you're done with the WinSCP setup. Now what you want to do is you want to go back to your iPhone or iPod Touch and go into City and search SSH. Like so. Now click search. Now download both SS Open SSH and Toggle SSH. Now if Toggle SSH isn't already there, then just um, go into your sources and type in um, sy.sosiphone.com or something like that. Your sources and it should appear. Now go into like the very last page or where you have it saved and it should be called toggle ssh you want to go into there and you will need wi-fi for this just click enable and now you're finished with your iphone or ipod touch right now now if your iphone or ipod touch ever goes into sleep mode make sure you wake it up immediately or else the SSH will fail. Okay, now what you want to do, you want to go and start all programs and scroll to SSH. I mean, uh, SSH, win SCP. Uh, win SCP? Win SCP. You'll see this when you first boot it up. For demonstration purposes, I have purposely deleted my account. Your host name will be your IP address, so hold on. Okay, so your host name will be your IP address that shows up in your iPhone. Alright, about the settings. The username is root. And the password is alpine. Just alpine, like that. Um, do nothing to the private key file. Um, and keep the file protocol at SFTP. And check allow SCP fail back fallback. I don't know if that's gonna do anything but yeah. Select color just means like you can select the color of the list. Click, just click save. And save password. Not recommended. Well for this it is recommended unless you have people trying to break into your iPod touch and that sort of stuff. I just keep it unchecked. Click OK. Now click login. Make sure your iPhone or iPod Touch is not in sleep mode and that Wi-Fi is enabled. It'll take a while. Now your password, just type in Alpine. And here you go. This is, these are all of your files in your iPhone or iPod Touch. All the folders, the files, now you can just modify anything. Say you want to make a theme, go into stash and just drag the theme folder into themes. It's that simple. Say we want to see the applications. There are applications, all our applications right here. Well, I think at least only for iPhone. Like the jailbreak. But you get what I mean. And that's how to set up SSH for your iPhone or iPod Touch. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this helps and please subscribe.